Should the U.S. Marines keep the Aviate B Harrier? The uh, what? The Harrier is a unique vertical takeoff jump jet that may be hovering into the history book. That's right. The British-designed Harrier has been around for decades and is planned to be replaced by the F-35B. You know, the one with the big trash can lid on the top that somehow doesn't get blown off. Oh, the one with the swiveling blast hole? Yeah, that's the one, swiveling blast hole. Cool, yo! Experts are divided when it comes to the old Harrier. Some say it's a needed, affordable, forward-operating, irreplaceable jump jet. While others say the need for a hovering jet is a farce. A what? You know, a farce. It's when something is both fake and false. A farce. Ah, uh, uh-huh, okay. It's a real word. Look it up. The Harry Harrier has a single Rolls-Royce engine that is seducted to four swiveling blaster holes. Now, to the untrained idiot, hovering looks as simple as rotating those blasters downward. But the trained Harrier pilots say it's more like trying to balance on a pencil. Now, remember, this is 1960s British technology here. So, good luck with that. What's that supposed to mean? Even the most skilled pilots have a hard time keeping this droopy wing plane stable. So, why don't they just put a modern computerized stabilization system into the Harrier, right? Yeah! Well, uh, it, it looks like that's actually what they do. What? Yeah, pretty cool, yo. Despite the original British Harrier being completely redesigned by the way better Americans, the hey, look what I can do to whoops, I crashed it ratio is still way too high. Reports report that for every F-18 that crashes, the Harrier crashes 4.1 times. Wait, 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 4.1? How do you crash 0.1 times? I don't know, maybe it's just a little bitty crash. Oh, like when you're parking at Trader Joe's and you open your car door in the car next to you? Uh, what? Anyways, the F-35B has a much better safety record because it never goes out flying! For the F-35B and Harrier to hover, they have to pretty much unload their weapons and fuel. This further limits their usefulness when a hovering jet is the only obvious solution. Like the time Arnold commandeered a Harrier to take out some bad guys. Terrorists! Whatever. Other obvious solutions for a hovering jump jet include hiding in the bushes and driving on public roads. Yeah. You see, back in the fear-filled 1960s, there was a big scare that Russia was going to bomb all the Allied runways within the first 20 minutes of WW3. This is why Britain came up with the idea of having a hovering jump jet that could take off without a runway. Oh, cool! Yeah, seemed like a good idea at the time, but you know, kind of doesn't really work. Too heavy to take off. Costs, crashy, all the stuff we just covered. All right, we're done. Let's get out of here. Uh, we are done. Let's get out of here. The really old, silly wheeled, British made, America improved, but still doesn't work as good as it should, Harrier AV8B! Are you happy to see it replaced by the F 35B? Or should America just take all these Harriers back to jolly old England and try and get their money back? Yeah, you can't return those. You've had them for like 30 years. I know, right? It's, it's just that they kind of, uh, you know, suck. What, what, what is that? Arnold Schwarzenegger arm sweat? Uh, uh, uh... You decide!